Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's men at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, huh? Apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Oh, this great state! And Mr. Hickory, were you born in Florida? <laughs> what a stupid question of all the cheek. Were you? Oh, of course not. No one's been born in Florida since 1877, but I've been here for five years, which is a very long time. Yes, it is. A very long time. Almost as long as this show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to Pressing Issues with me, Maurice Chavez, presiding over some of the least informed debate on the radio. In this episode of Pressing the Issue, we had Alex Shrub, Callum Crayshaw, and John Florida Hickory discussing safety. I... and all the action I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Montanias. And I'm Jonathan Freeloader. Public radio is very important. You may have heard my recent hour-long story about my hike in the park. That was fascinating and very important for everyone, even the blind. Play a selection, Jonathan. I think this is the part where I came to the big tree. I almost felt like I was there. You won't get this kind of nauseating detail on commercial radio. VCPR is 100% commercial free. Absolutely nothing interrupts your enjoyment of our fine programming and ability to tackle the important things like Jonathan's Walk in the Park. But we need you. Think of yourself as a member of this station, except you aren't allowed in the doors. That's an important metaphor for life. Must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Always something, man. Ricardo Diaz? Tommy, I need some help here! to be naked? Yes! You can't stop me! Well, I'm a mother, so I have to deal with this issue every day. My adorable kids have learned that it's wrong to... ...in my house. Nudity leads to bad, naughty things. Maurice, if I may interrupt, I haven't worn clothes since 1982. 
clothes are seriously unnatural. Didn't you guys learn anything from the 60s? I had a revelation when I was in holiday in Germany. I had always felt very constricted. Then it hit me like a slippery fish. I live! Take heads, and it's all down to you. What is your name? Tommy. I see you soon, amigo, I think. Shit, where's that guy, Lance? I think I'm Naked, there'd be no war. Everyone's complaining about crime and the depth of cars in the city. No one's Tommy, it's Ricardo Diaz. I want to thank you for looking out for me, my man. I heard that prick called Ted. He said you're the real deal, my friend. Will you not come see me? I need a guy like you. All I have now is dickheads. Dickheads everywhere, yo. I make you real rich. Move on.